Hi friends, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. And I thought that I would come on because yesterday when I ran to the post office, I wanted to make sure that I got my mail before this snowstorm hit last night. It started at about 10 o'clock, smaller. It looks like we have about 10 inches out there. And I know some parts of our state, it's upwards 18 inches. So it was a pretty big snowstorm. But when I went to the post office, I had two really nice surprises that I want to share with you today. And maybe we can put on a little bit of makeup and just have a chit chat. Let's start with my nails. So I gave my nails a two week break. And typically I do that when I use glue on my nails to put my nails on and I take them off. I like to file them or trim them. And then I like to buff the top to make sure all the glue is off. And I like to give my nails two weeks to breathe. Sometimes I'll put nail polish on, but with my job, it just doesn't last. But today I said, you know, I bought this new kit a month ago and I'm going to put it on. I enjoy French tip. I also enjoy the square look. Now, if you notice, they are flush colored. They're, they're almost clear with a little bit of a flush tint. So they look like my real nails with French tips. Anyhow, let's start with the first box I got at the post office. And what's in this box, one of the items is going to be for you for the giveaway that I'm going to have. It's I don't get subscriptions from beauty boxes. So what I'm going to give might be smaller than what another channel would give. And so I am going to give away, still in the package, so and I'm not even going to take it out. I'll show you mine. I am gifting to whomever wins the Alter Ego Harmony Palette. Evidently, I got one of the last ones because I did post it in the description in one of my videos and a few of my subs went in to get a palette and they were out of stock and I thought, that's odd. So I happened to go into the website and sure enough, they were out of stock. So I must have gotten one of the last ones. This is strictly for the giveaway. This is my palette. I've used it quite a bit now. And I will link the video in this video using this palette. <laughs> but this is mine. And these are the colors. It's a gorgeous color story. So if you are interested in winning this palette, engage in the giveaway. For this giveaway, all you need to do in this video, it can't be in any other video, it can't be in any other short, it has to be in the comment section in this video and answer to this question. If you could have your dream job, what would that be? Or if you have had your dream job and maybe now you are retired, what was that dream job? And if you are in your dream job, what is it? Put that in the comment section 
to be entered into my giveaway. You must live in the United States because it's outrageously expensive to ship to another country. And I know this because my daughter used to live in Canada and I would ship boxes to her and it was like, oh, you know, but I did it. I did it because she's my daughter and I wanted to send her things in Canada. So you must be in the United States in order to qualify for this giveaway. At some point, I would like to be able to change that. <laughs> so, what else is in my box? Well, I ordered another palette from Alter Ego for myself. Let the Shadow Kiss Palette. It is a pressed powder palette. And let's open it up. I am so impressed with the Harmony palette and how it performs that I could not resist getting another palette. This is a neutral palette. Can you hear? And I have another box to show you. And the reason I didn't do any skincare or anything like that got my box, got my order from Charlotte Tilbury, and I ordered her eye, her magic eye rescue, because I loved the sample so much, and I loved how my eyes felt. This is going to last me a while, and this is refillable. So when you purchase the glass jar and you need to reorder, they will just send you this plastic insert here. So you take this out and pop the other one in. I love that sustainable feature. I wanted to try the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I was going to get the e.l.f. version, but I this is a mini. And I decided that I would, and I got it in 4.5 medium. So I decided that I wanted to try the mini. It's small, but if I like it, I will order the large one. You know, this is about how big it is. Okay, so this is about two inches. I'm going to try it on my hand. Wow, I like that. I like that glow. That's really pretty, and it's a good color for me, too. And I also purchased a mini. I love the fact that Charlotte Tilbury allows you to get minis. I feel that's very promising in a brand. Because they know that if you like it, that you're going to get it. Okay, so this is a tiny mini. It's two medium. And it is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. So this is the medium. Fair two medium. Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Eye and Face Micro Powder. Okay, so this is translucent. But these are small. In my hand, just so you get an idea, this is about how big it is. All right, let's put on some, a little bit of makeup. Not much. I have some more products coming. I have another eyeshadow palette coming. I have some lipsticks coming. And 
I'm very selective, as I told you, about how much makeup I purchase. I'm going to use my Maybelline eraser. I am going to use this similar to the way I've... I'm just going to dot it right there. And I'm just going to use my concealer brush and pat that in. Now, people are telling me that this is too light for my skin tone. Well, it is, but I'm using it for a reason. Um, it has a peach tint to it, so I'm using it sort of as an eye under eye brightener slash corrector slash concealer and I'm just using this to go fast today uh, instead of the way I normally put on my concealer and I am going to use it over my eyes and I'm going to pat that in just covering up a few age spots I think I'm going to use my Ilia concealer today underneath my eyes over the brightener. You can see the difference. Okay. That looks good. Now let's put on some foundation. I'm going to use my Ilia foundation. This is the serum foundation. I only have, this is the only serum foundation I have, I believe. I had another one, but I, I got rid of it. All right, I'm going to put this on with a stipple brush. Let me take a little, put it here, a little here, a little here. See the color? It matches the, when I purchased the foundation from Ilia, they help you to match your concealer to the foundation. So I'm just stippling. I'm using a stipple brush. I'm just going to stipple my foundation in today. I'm not going to use a sponge. I love the smell of this foundation. It has a, it almost has an, an essential oil smell, but it's very mild. I have another foundation coming too. As you can see, I'm going all over the place with this. Stippling. Pushing, pushing the product into my pores. Um, my experience with the Ilia foundation is it is a serum foundation and it's not meant to last, you know, 10, 12 hours. But since I'm putting it on later in the day, I'm not going to mind that. And now I'm just going to kind of buff I'm just going to kind of buff this in, buff it over my wrinkles. I'm going to use one of the powders that I got from Charlotte. I'm just going to dust this over my eyes. I'm just going to pat, see, the, see how the concealer it's not a primer, it's a concealer. I'm just going to pat that out. And I'm going to go in with Charlotte's powder. Same with this. I'm just going to pat this in. And I'm just going to go over and I'm going to pat my foundation 
and concealer that I put over my eyes. Get it, make sure I get in the corners. And now I'm going to take a bigger brush. I think I'll use my enchanted purple brush. And I'm going to just do across my forehead, down around my nose, right here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the translucent because it's more of a brightener. And I'm going to gently put that under my eyes. Let me see if I get in close. If I get in close, you can see. So I'm going to pull this down, and I'm just going to tap very gently. See that? If I pull it down, I'm just going to tap very gently. And I think I'm going to use this around my nose, too. I'm going to take a blush. I'm just using uh, the Makeup Revolution Quad blush that I have. I'm searching blushes. I'm kind of picky. And I'm going to take this pink brush, and I'm going to go into mm, this color right here. And I'm just going to tap it in, tap it off, and I'm just going to put that right just on my cheekbones. Um, now I'm going to do this side. Because this is a serum foundation, um, I find that serum foundations do not allow, the, the powder blushes tend to stick when you swirl. Um, but once you get them on, they look really nice. Now, let's try this Hollywood Flawless filter. I'm going to do here, here, a little bit up here, down my nose, whatever. Let's just play. So let's put, actually, let's put some there, some there, some there. Um, down my nose, above my lip, and on my chin. I'm so excited about this. This is a dense buffing brush, and I'm just going to buff this in over my eyes. Gives the face a nice sheen. Can you see the sheen? Sheen, you could probably wear this alone on your face. I really like it. It's, it's subtle. And now... I'm going to take this small brush and I'm going to do around my eyes. Okay, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Midnight Sun palette and I'm going to use this chocolate brown here around my eyes. That's all I'm using and I'm going to smoke it around my eyes. 
So I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to take this very, very, very small brush. And I'm going to go over like an eyeliner. Now this is eyeshadow, it's not an eyeliner, so it is going to get smoky. Smoky! I'm just doing this freehand here. So I can do it fast. I'm not I'm not being picky. I don't want to be picky. Now I'm going to take this and just run it underneath and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay? I'm just running this underneath. It almost is going to have like a grungy look to it. Now what I'm going to do, it's all amusing. I'm going to clean this off on my microfiber cloth. And I'm going to go back and I'm just going to smoke. I'm just going to smoke this. I'm going to just blend it all in. Same with underneath. I'm going to smoke it. Smoke it. Now this side. I'm just going to smoke it. And because I have the concealer on my eye with a little bit of powder, it's allowing me to smoke this really easily. Plus the eye cream. The eye cream is giving is allowing me to have that. You know, it's it's very hydrating. It's allowing me to have that smoky look. And you can kind of keep blending that and blending that as high up as you want. We make all these funny faces when we're putting on makeup, don't we? I think I'll use the Lash Paradise. Some of these mascaras are getting old, and I'm going to have to get rid of them. I'm not putting a lot. I'm not even going to put any on my bottom lashes. But I will have to tell you that the Ilia foundation, when I take it off my skin tonight, my skin is going to feel amazing. And I'm just going to swirl it into the highlighter, tap it off. Put a little right there. Swirl it in the highlighter, tap it off. I don't know if you can see that as good. Maybe. Put a little on my nose with the Hollywood Flawless. A little up there. A little right here. And I'm all set. Let's stick on some lipstick by Too Faced. I'm going to go up over my lip a little bit. Oh my God, this lipstick, it smells like cocoa. And I don't like, like it when lipsticks have a taste. This doesn't have a taste, but boy, the smell is so amazing.
What do you think? That was a lot of fun. And I'm so happy that you were here with me today to do the unboxing and to put on a little bit of makeup. Be well, be blessed, be beautiful, because you are, because there is nobody else on the planet like you. And until next time, I love you. Bye-bye.